but please i think what was happening right now between 2k and the 2k community is that there's like a lack of trust hey what's up youtube you already know i'm all city with all city live tv.com and thank you for tuning in will strength matter in nba 2k21 for next gen is nba 2k21 for next gen going to play very similar to what we're experiencing on current gen These are some of the questions that I know a lot of people want answered out there because I don't know if next gen is going to be able to stand the test of time if it plays how current gen is currently being played for NBA 2K21. I don't know if you guys feel very similar. I may be kind of drained on 2K. I don't know. There may be some level of exhaustion, although I get a ton of highlight clips. The fun factor for 2K21 on current gen just isn't there. There's a lack of diversity. There's a lack of like uh, creativity in player builds this year for current gen on NBA 2K21. And I don't know if 2K21 for next gen is going to actually play the same. And if it does play the same, will that be able to stand the test of time? I believe personally that current gen NBA 2K21 would have been great it would have been an absolutely amazing experience if we just left it the way it was now i know a lot of people may have an issue with that but in the beginning i gotta say i was having a tremendous amount of fun the game seemed balanced did it seem balanced to you guys please let me know in the comments section below i think there was a good enough skill gap where if you didn't have your badges you weren't gonna hit shots so you didn't have to worry about no noobs coming out there and hitting shots in your grill and then 2k started releasing these patches and along with releasing these patches the gameplay just seemed to go downhill was that your experience if it was your experience again let me know in the comment section below but it feels like i guess i'm gonna just explain what it feels like to me we were presented with 2k21 on current gen and it was so different from what we were used to in nba 2k20 and everybody was struggling everybody had to go through the learning curve grind to get their badges and their attributes up and when they did they were rewarded with good gameplay unfortunately after all of these patches it feels like 2k21 was just peeling back and peeling back instead of adding to our experience it feels like they were peeling back and we were getting nba 2k20 all over again a lot of people are saying that they're back on 2k20 and they're having fun and i think that's what 2k is missing they're missing the fun factor for current gen you got builds out there that are completely useless they're not playing the same way and they're not playing how we're used to they're not playing to their standard to their attributes or to their badges this is what it feels like at least i gotta say this is not my personal experience but this is the experience that i'm seeing with a lot of players that we're running with i gotta say man it's quite unfortunate when you see the same builds over and over and over a glass cleaning finisher a paint piece and a playmaking shot creator if you make any other build, it feels like you're putting yourself and your team at a disadvantage. That's what it feels like. I gotta say what it feels like. This is what I'm noticing. I'm a veteran of 2K. I've been playing this game since the very first release on Dreamcast. So I know what I'm talking about. Not, not only do I play the game, last year on 2K20, I became legend. So I really grind it out. It's not an easy task trying to hit legend out there, but we made it's a legend so i have a ton of experience playing the game and i gotta say for 2k21 on current gen it feels like it's a task a chore to get on and play the game which it shouldn't ever i think there is no developer in the world that wants their game to feel like it's a chore we're not i'm not even trying to grind for uh, any type of high amount of rep on current gen because we're gonna have to start the process all over on next gen but if next gen plays like current gen i don't know if i'm gonna be able to play it all the way through especially with all of these new games that are fitting to come out for next gen 
if you guys don't know about the 20 like additional ps uh plus games that they're giving you when you open up your ps5 and you plug it up and you go to play it you immediately got 20 like classic games that ps plus is going to offer you if you're playing on playstation which is super dope but i gotta say with all of those games plus the miles morales and plus 2k21 for next year i don't know i just don't know if i'm gonna be like playing this game or on on next gen as often as i would normally if it stays like the current gen experience and you don't see a lot of diversity in the player builds and you're unable listen 2k is offering you a lot of creativity to create a build but it really matters what I, I should say what really matters is if those player builds are gonna be like the mechanics are gonna function properly on the court because as of right now when you go look at the attributes for player builds for current gen you're thinking man this build is going to be amazing when you look at it on paper when you look at the black and white the attributes the badge points you're like man this got to play amazing and then you go out there and you get cooked by a playmaking shot creator that's just dribble glitching that speed boost glitch that they do out there and curry sliding around screens and it just becomes redundant in the same routine over and over and over and it doesn't allow other player builds to kind of shine. You go and make a perimeter lockdown, you put them on a playmaking shot creator, and you think there's going to be some level of difference there with all of these defensive badges. You think it'll be a GG. Or there'll be like, uh, at least you'll see a balance between the offense winning and the defense winning something. But as of right now, the way it stands, if a point guard is speed boost glitching, you know, I don't know if you guys know that little speed boost glitch where he just darts away from the defender and if there's a screen there forget about it, it's a gg because that's an open shot the sensor can't catch up and the perimeter uh defender cannot catch up they speed boost and then curry slide right back into a vacuum screen and it's a gg so what's the point of having your badges what's the point of creating an a different build an alternate build to kind of mix it up and mix up your playing and gaming experience on 2k for current gen at least those are my thoughts for current gen and how is it going to translate in next gen is strength going to matter in next gen should i make an all speed pie chart like with all of the highlights that you see in the background here where i'm killing them with an all speed pie chart and the lowest amount of strength with minimum weight is that going to be our experience on next gen they next gen said now i'm going to tell you what they say they say that centers are going to play like centers and uh guards are going to play like guards and from that vantage point is not going to be the same but from what i seen on the court side report it looks very similar you got curry going in with a layup animation with no contest on lonzo ball and draymond green getting a contest in the paint against zion williamson like is speed gonna be the factor there because zion should have been able to bang out on draymond green instead they put him on they put him into this weird layup animation instead of going up with a strong dunk and i think that's where things have changed dramatically in 2k because i remember in 2k 16 when you clicked like R2 and you wanted to trigger a dunk animation, you went up for a dunk animation. And if the defender ended up going up for like a swap block animation, they received the swap block animation. Whoever won that battle was determined. It, it, there was no like hand animations to determine who wins that battle. It was just sometimes the defensive win, sometimes the offensive win. But now currently in 2K, you just don't know what you're going to get for any particular animation and 2k is touting that they're not gonna have as many canned animations i don't know from what i've seen in the court side reports it doesn't necessarily look like they addressed those issues they say there's not going to be vacuum screens and people saw vacuum screens in the course side report they say there's going to be better uh interior defense people saw weaker interior defense it's like you know 2k is trying to sell their product i get it i understand but please i think what was happening right now between 2k and the 2k community is that there's like a lack of trust we're not trusting that we're gonna have a good experience an enjoyable experience 
playing the game. As of right now, I feel like I don't trust that I'm gonna have an enjoyable experience. It looks like it could go either way, and this will determine a lot in how we approach future games on 2K. And it's, it's like a very thin line because we're in next gen right now, and there's gonna be a lot more options to find enjoyment as far as our gaming experience is concerned out there. So I really hope that I'm gonna remain optimistic and hope that 2K gets it right this time. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please consider hitting that like button. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing as we're gonna have a ton of NBA 2K21 content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video.